the biggest party of the summer is almost here which means it is time for us to do our predictions for the entire show but man i'm looking at the card right now Whew. 10 matches 10 matches Whew. feels like wrestlemania 35 all over again before we get into the video guys i need you guys to do me a solid favor and make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button to be a part of the flaming Dynasty. Man, it's been a while since I've done that. All right, guys, let's waste no more time and let's get right into the video. The first match that is on the card for the SummerSlam pay-per-view, it is Alexa Bliss versus Eva Marie. I don't think anybody's interested in this. Why is this taking place on SummerSlam again? There's 10 matches. This match does not need to be one of those 10 but it is. Alexa Bliss is going to win. The Raw Tag Team Championships will be on the line as the phenomenal AJ Styles and Omos defend against Randy Orton and Riddle RK Bro. Now, before I get into the predictions, all I got to say is this gives me massive Shield vibes when Ambrose and Rollins reunited uh, for the 2017 SummerSlam to face the bar for the tag titles. These are the vibes I'm getting from this match, and I'm really excited for it. I'm glad RK Bro is still together. I knew they didn't break up. The storyline's been pretty good. I know that they've been building up for almost a couple of months, actually, uh, just with Riddle. Obviously, Orton just recently returned, but now we're going to see Orton and Riddle take on the tag champions, and I know this match is about to be insane. Hopefully, we see an RKO to Omos. That would be absolutely insane. Now, when it comes to my predictions, AJ and Omos have been doing a pretty good job as tag team champions over the last few months. Uh, had a, quite a few challengers, Elias and Riker, um, the Viking Raiders, the New Day. Uh, they've been doing a pretty good job as champions, but I think it's about time that the titles change hands. And what better than to give those titles to RK, bro. I think it's about to be absolutely amazing. Orton and Riddle taking over the entire tag team division. I am really looking forward to that. Hopefully it takes place. So my prediction is RK Bro to win the tag team championships. Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Man, how WWE botched this feud. And this feud had a lot of potential before it even got started. But for some somehow WWE ruined it by making the feud about a text message. A text message. The only bright side is that uh, Ginger's goons are not going to be at ringside, which is a pretty pretty good thing because that means we can actually see a fair fight between Bahal and uh, McIntyre. Now, when it comes to my prediction for it, I think it's quite obvious that McIntyre is going to win this match. Uh, McIntyre hasn't got the lo a lot of momentum as of late. Obviously, he has been winning matches still, but having this filler feud could still help him just by winning it. So my prediction is Drew McIntyre. WWE United States Championship match, the champion Sheamus versus the challenger Damian Priest. This match has a lot of potential to steal the entire show. That's all I'm gonna say. This match delivered the last time we saw it and we're gonna see it again at SummerSlam. Sheamus, who's been a pretty okay United States champion. I'm not gonna say he was the best champion or anything like that. And Damian Priest, who really, really, has been getting the spotlight on Raw, which I'm really appreciating. Could be on the verge of becoming the new US champion. Now, the rumors are circulating that Damian Priest is probably going to win the title or like the favorites, obviously. But to be quite honest with you, not that I don't want Damian Priest to win. I, I, think I would not be mad or anything like that if Damian Priest wins the championship. But I kind of think that Sheamus is going to retain. I kind of think that he is going to retain. Or I, and I really do see him... Continuing his reign as U.S. champion, um, maybe having some new challengers. Obviously, Keith Lee hasn't gotten the title opportunity yet. So, you know what I mean? I think Sheamus is somehow going to come out on top. So, my prediction is Sheamus to retain the United States Championship. The WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship match between the Usos and Dominic and Rey Mysterio. We've seen this match before. We are going to see it again. It delivered last time, which means it's going to over-deliver at the biggest party of the summer all i gotta say this first of all this match could have had so much potential to be a ladder match like imagine a ladder match the usos the mysterios boy that would have been awesome man 
a missed opportunity right there. My prediction is Jimmy and Jay to retain the tag team championships. One of the matches I'm looking forward to the most at SummerSlam, the rated R superstar Ed versus the architect Seth freaking Rollins. This is a seven year match in the making. I am really, really looking forward to this match. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see what these guys pull in this match. It has so much potential. The storyline that we've been seeing on SmackDown has been tremendous. Now, when it comes to the winner, honestly, not even lying, it does not matter who wins this match. If Edge wins, it's great for his career. He won the Rumble. He lost a lot of momentum, but at SummerSlam winning, back back on the right track. Seth Rollins, on the other hand, hasn't been winning too many matches. Winning, getting a huge win over Edge, getting into the title picture. I think it, it could work really well for Rollins. But to be honest, I think that Edge needs this victory a little bit more than Seth Rollins does. Um, Rollins obviously needs the victory as well, but I feel like Edge just needs a little bit more. So with that being said, my prediction is Edge to defeat the Architect. The SmackDown Women's Championship on the line is the challenger Sasha Banks takes on the champion Bianca Belair. Now, honestly, man, this was a pretty predictable rivalry to take place. Now, I'm not upset about it or anything like that, but honestly, you already know it's about to be an amazing match. We saw the match at Mania main eventing. It was absolutely amazing, and we're going to see it again here at SummerSlam. To be honest with you, if Sasha Banks wins, great for her getting back that championship, dominating uh, Friday Night SmackDown, but if Bianca wins, it will solidify her as a real true champion because I feel like ever since Bianca won the title, she hasn't really had real challenges. Like, no disrespect to Bayley, but I feel like they haven't been memorable rivalries. You know what I mean? But I think this is the real first rivalry for Bianca Belair. So I think Bianca really needs this victory in order to solidify herself as a true main eventer in the women's division. So my prediction is for Bianca Belair to retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. The WWE Championship will be on the line as the almighty Bobby Lashley defends against the Hall of Famer Goldberg. Now, oh my goodness, I wish it was Brock Lesnar. But we got Goldberg. But I'm not saying that I don't want to see this match. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Bobby Lashley needs this victory, to be honest, man. I mean, Honestly, Lashley's reign as WWE Champion has been tremendous. I don't think people truly understand how great Lashley's reign has been as WWE Champion. He defeated Drew McIntyre, not once, not twice, but three times. He defeated Kofi Kingston. He defeated Xavier Woods. Now facing off against probably his biggest challenger in Goldberg. And imagine the momentum on Lashley's side if he wins this match. I think it is must needed for Bobby Lashley to win this match. So with that being said, I believe that Bobby Lashley will win and retain the WWE Championship. Triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship as Nikki A.S.H. The defends the championship against the Queen Charlotte Flair and the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. But man, I just have that slight feeling that Becky Lynch is going to return. I, I feel like we're going to have sort of a WrestleMania 33 repeat. Then the Hardy Boys return. That's what I want to see from this triple threat match. Imagine Becky Lynch returning, making it a fatal four-way, winning the championship. Oh, I really want to see that. I really want to see that. But if that doesn't happen, if I have to give a second prediction, I'm going to go with Nikki A.S.H. to retain the title. Please, WWE, do not give the title to Charlotte. If Rhea wins, I'm really happy, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going with Nikki A.S.H., but my real prediction is uh, Becky Lynch. And the Universal Championship will be on the line as your head of the table, your tribal chief, the end-all, be-all Roman Reigns defends the title against probably the greatest of all time, 16-time world champion franchise player, John Cena. Oh my God. The promos we saw on SmackDown last week were chef's kiss. And they were not scripted whatsoever. And Vince absolutely loved it. So imagine what we're going to get this week on Friday. I am really excited for it. Now, I think we know that Roman is going to win. Uh, I'm all the way team Reigns uh, to retain the championship. But if John Cena wins, which I don't think he will, I'm not going to be mad about it. Because it's it's John Cena's 17th world title. He defeated Roman Reigns. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm glad to see John Cena back in the company. And you know what I mean? I would absolutely love it. I know it's kind of weird to say that. 
but I would really, really love that. But I really, really do think Roman needs this win more, and I would love to see Reigns retain, you know? Roman is coming to a close to becoming Universal Champion for a year now, which is kind of crazy, man. Roman's been a Universal Champion for almost a year. If Roman retains at SummerSlam, another week later, he will hold it for a year, man. That's absolutely mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Oh my god. All right, guys, that's going to end my predictions video here today. I really do hope you enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like if you have not already. Let's try to get 30 likes on this video. Small like goal, as always. And uh, I will be doing takeover predictions um, probably tomorrow, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, it's been EG Flames. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on stream.